Hi, Brother Sewing, Crafting, and Fishing Family. <laughs> How's it going? Happy Friday. So Friday it is. Note to self, once a week, try on your skinny jeans because we've all been wearing leggings every single day. <laughs> I'm so kidding, but not really. So how are you? I see you all have already rolled in. Today, we have something really exciting. You're going to get to meet Tabitha, which you might not have met her on the Facebook Live before, but you, if you're on Instagram, you know exactly who she is. Cindy Hogan's popping in, and at the end of the show, we're giving away the first of 10 sewing machines from Brother. So I've already explained how to enter, and you can enter every day for the next 10 weeks if you want to. If you've left a comment on any of our live shows, that counts as well. So um, if you missed the link, don't worry. You can have a link for next week. But if you made a comment today, you're still in the running. All right, so let's not make the girls wait. If you've never been to the show before, say hi, say where you're from. You never know, your neighbor might be sewing next to you <laughs> and fishing, unless you're from Michigan. <laughs> just kidding. Hey girls, come on up, how's it going? Let me just uh, make sure that you're off of mute. Hey, Cindy hi. and Tabitha. Hi guys, how are y'all today? Very good, very good. So everybody is rolling in and saying hi. So Tabitha, we are so excited to have you on the show today. So uh, before Cindy drops off for a minute, uh, I want to feature what you're doing. You got to show your shirt off. I oh, love your yeah. shirt. <laughs> I had to wear it just for this occasion. Oh, oh it's so cute. I saw you do that on Instagram. Yeah, this was my first. Um, I'm from Virginia, too. I think I'm from Virginia. This was my first. Very nice. So, Cindy, I'm going to drop you out for a sec, and um, but don't go far because you're coming to do a giveaway with me. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma see you in a bit. All right. See you see in a moment. <laughs> so, Tabitha. I have to say your Instagram is so much fun. It is so colorful. And then I thought, I didn't realize that your real last name is Sower. How could you <laughs> actually? <laughs> yeah, everyone thinks it's a joke or like it's part of my branding. But yeah, that's that was, I wasn't sewing at the time. Sewing at the time that I'm sewing, I'm sewing. I'm sewing. Very nice. So, did you make your did you make your earrings? By the way, I didn't. I could make these. I could make sorry, you I could. <laughs> Everybody say they wondered about your last name too. I know. I said how lucky. So you have had a career though before. Uh, being a brother brand ambassador and everything else that you're doing. So for those of you that don't have not met Tabitha before, I see they are saying there's an echo. So let me just make sure, check the sound real quick. Let's see. Is it me? Is it me? It's probably me. Yeah, it, it goes in and out. So if it starts again, I'll, I'll mute myself and see if that helps. Okay. So um, I, I have to ask, you had a career before this. And could you just share with everyone what you did? Because I think it's really cool. Yeah, I, <laughs> I think a lot of people will be surprised to know that I was in the Air Force for 10 and a half years and I traveled around the world for a little bit. When I was a kid, my dad was in the Navy as well. So I, obviously I jumped into the military as well because I was so used to that lifestyle. And then after the Air Force, I decided to go on and get my degree and I became a college professor and I, um, I taught at two different schools and I taught um, a few business courses to undergrad students. Oh, I can't hear. I think you're on mute. I think you're on mute. Oh yeah, I muted so you wouldn't echo. Um, sorry, thanks. I had no idea about the instructor part. I knew about the service. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. incredible. So what colleges were you at? Um, I taught at DeVry and at East PI. Here awesome. In that is so, that is wonderful. So how on earth did you get into sewing then? And how did you get into, cause your, your Instagram is a huge following and you have a lot of people following what you're doing. How did you get there? Thank you. Um, so I started, actually when I started blogging, um, I started blogging when I got out of the military because I was a young mom with two kids and my husband was the only one working. And while I was in school, I needed something to do. So I started thrifting at first and then I went on to sewing because I thought it was an inexpensive hobby, but we all know that 
<laughs> that's not the case, especially with my love for fabrics and things like that. So um, that's how I went on to learning how to sew. My mom sews as well. So my mom went to school um, for fashion design in the Philippines. Philippines. And, um, so she, I taught myself a little bit because she, you know, she lives pretty far from me. Um, with me being in the military. And then um, when I moved here to Virginia, which she lives here, her and my dad, um, she taught me a little bit more and more. And I guess as more as as I got more practice, I, I got pretty good at it. And I guess people love color on Instagram. Instagram. <laughs> they love color. Your Instagram is beautiful. What is your what is your Instagram handle, by the way? I'm gonna put it in the comments. Uh, my Instagram hand, handle is my name, Tabitha Sower. Okay, I'll bring that. I need to plug in my. Oh wait, while well, one sec, while she's plugging that in. So I just added her. Uh, it's Tabitha Seller to find her. She's coming right back. But um, so Tabitha, I have to say that you are uh, joined by many, many, many people who understand that fabric <laughs> is the love of many of us sewers. And yeah. uh, we always yeah. joke that we are not hoarders, we are creative. <laughs> you can tell behind me. <laughs> you have an amazing stash. I'm like shopping, <laughs> window shopping over here. <laughs> We always do I spy back there. You just never know what's going to yeah. pop up. <laughs> that pink and that green is popping out to be. <laughs> yes, pink and red. What is your, is your favorite color red? You're always in red. Um, I think it'll be shocking for people to know my favorite color is black. <laughs> oh, well, I'm with you on that, but then yeah. you got to touch the color yeah. to it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I love my favorite, my second favorite color is pink. Oh, that's very cool. So what have you been working on lately during this downtime? Are you obviously at home? Yeah, I'm, I'm at home with my two kids who are driving me crazy. Um, homeschooling is so hard on top of working, you know, on content. Um, right now I'm working with Disney. So they, they asked for some DIY. So I just recently posted a bag um, inspired by the Cinderella glass slipper. So that one's pretty cool. And I'm also, um, um, brother, I created, I created a cute B t-shirt, which you guys will see here shortly. Um, and I'm really excited about it. I'm really into gardening right now. So that kind of inspired me to make like a B shirt. So yeah, anything with color. That's awesome. I actually, I'll bring the, this is the Brother blog. For those of you that don't know, go to blog.brothersows.com and you can see her past projects and her future projects because you're going to be posting quite a few coming up. So <laughs> it's very cool. So we were just talking, uh, Emily, I don't know if you've met some of the other brand ambassadors yet, but Emily has been on the show on Mondays and she's got a couple kids at home and she said it is, it is like so different to have, to try to still create content and homeschool and get everything finished it's a lot of work yeah it's so it's so much you would think that it might be a little bit easier because i mean they're here in the afternoon um when they were in school but it's so uh, it's much more difficult with them here especially yeah. with the added school work you, you having to teach them but i mean we're adjusting what how old are your kids again i missed that my my youngest is eight and my oldest is 11. Oh, so at least they're they're close in age. They can play together. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah. I just sent them outside. Like, go outside, guys. It's recess. <laughs> <laughs> Mom's going live. <laughs> yes. yes. So I've noticed that some of your projects, what is your favorite thing? I, my favorite is garments. Um, and you do a combination of so many things. What is your favorite thing to sew or craft? Because you're kind of in both markets big time. Yeah. Um, my favorite thing is sewing. Sewing clothes. I just like like showstopper bright colored type of clothing so that's kind of what i like that's what i'm into very cool um i am basically just in garments but i love embroidery so much that i can between dyeing fabrics and embroidery this i did this yesterday oh on the live not not the apron we're doing the apron in may which will be really fun you might like I that color of I, it. I refashioned this from a sweater it looked like it was one of these, you know, like that you wear like 
maybe 10 years ago, but the collar was so high and so tight. So I'll be refashioning this one, but I added the zipper <laughs> and I, I walked into the studio this morning and I'm like, that is either going to go and get hand dyed a different color <laughs> or I'm going to have embroidery all over it. <laughs> I love, I love when people refashion things as well. That's pretty neat. I like that. I like that. Going through the stash, trying to clean things up. <laughs> yeah. If you were to dye it, what color would you dye it? You know, I my favorite color is pink. Yeah. So I'm I'm debating if I if I if I decide to embroider it, I might add maybe some cream and yellow to keep it kind of toned down. But if I dye it, I'm going to go all out and it's gonna yeah, be like hot, a hot pink and an orange and maybe yeah. a little red in there. <laughs> I think you should do it. I think you should do it. I think you might break the internet on that one. Yeah. <laughs> So anything exciting that you have planned for the summer? I mean, all of our lives have pretty much been turned upside down, but you know, I've been finding so many different positives out of this. I mean, I like to think positive. So I mean, the list is long um, yeah. for the other yeah. side, but anything exciting you've planned for the summer? Um, no, not at this time. I did have some exciting things, but um, yeah, everything is turned upside down now. So not really, um, but there is positives out of it. Like you said, there's more time with your family, um, more time for sewing and crafting and all the, you know, all the things that we never had time to do before. Um, so no awesome outgoing plans, but indoors, just same old, same old crafting and sewing. Oh, you're on mute. mute. Oh, thank you. I keep muting myself so you don't echo. So you just like keep letting me know. <laughs> um, so your Facebook, are, you're mostly on Instagram is most of your activity, but you, what's your Facebook? Is it Tabitha Sower as well? Um, this is so sad. I'm very rarely on Facebook. So I think it's official Tabitha Sower. I'll find it. I'll uh, And your website's Tabitha Sower. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'll bring that up so everybody can see that so they know where to find you in the future. But she is very active on Instagram. Your Instagram is so cute. In fact, I had it up here a second ago. I'm just going to bring it up real quick so everyone can see that. I had to um, show my old military uniform. You know how military uniforms, you have your name tape here. And when I show that, people are like, oh, that is really your last name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bring it up here. Let's see. Hold on one sec. I'm going to share my screen so everyone can see how colorful your page is. There we go. You might need sunglasses and blinders because it's kind of <laughs> So there's Tabitha. So much fun. But your photos are great. And by the way, you had... You had posted a couple photos of your sewing space and it was so clean. So we were having a vote. Did you clean it or did you just find a little spot for the machine that was clean? <laughs> Usually I just push all my junk to the side and then I take the photo. People don't see that, that one. <laughs> <laughs> that one is so clean. <laughs> the, the junk is on the left side of the sewing machine. You can't see it. <laughs> love your style you do great photos and you have such a wide variety of projects which makes it really cool thank you so much thank you it took about seven years of practice but i think i got it <laughs> i think you got it <laughs> so um are, what do you, what's your next project that you're working on for people to follow you mentioned the one that you're coming on with brother but are you working on um at your top that you did you made you did the embroidery on that didn't you i did i just bought the sweater let me bring it down I bought the sweater and then I did the um, embroidery on it. I did it in an applique style. So this is actually washcloth to give it more like a patch look. That's cool. Yeah. I um, love that. Wait, I got to bring Cindy. Cindy's down there going, I'm loving this. <laughs> Isn't that cute? I love that idea. <laughs> I, mean, I wanted a patch and I'm like, how do, how do we create patches? Well, I'd seen on your Instagram that you had been needle punching. And I thought, well, I wonder if she needle punched that. Yeah, I do punch needling. I love it. So the fact that it's actually a washcloth, that's just awesome. So I love it. <laughs> and it washes well. So yeah. <laughs> and you can find well, that pack of um, washcloths on Amazon. Oh, there you go. You I have found a whole box of these. <laughs> 
in my yeah. stash. I think I know what I'm going to do. <laughs> there you go. Um, you can buy like multicolor um, washcloths on Amazon for like five, six dollars. It's really inexpensive. That's a great yeah. idea. Yeah. My next Everybody's loving that. Is shoes. I'm going to attempt to make some really fun shoes. Hopefully, it'll turn out. So, crossing fingers. They're there. To make shoes, like, what kind of like flip flops or what slippers or what? Um, espadrilles. So, um, I think Dritz has like these shoe kits, which I have in my in my sewing studio. Um, but they have <laughs> shoe kits, and you can all you need is um like canvas fabric or like heavy heavyweight fabric and just create it create some some fun shoes you can do make it sure you, style or like espadrilles different different ways make sure you buy a size bigger than you actually wear i did when i when i asked the people how do i like how do i know what size because it's not really about shoe size it's by your you have to measure your foot yeah and that's that's what i did because you know, um, I, I made a set of those with Mickey Mouse on them. They ain't nobody can wear them besides my mother who's not with us any longer. Okay. It's funny that you mentioned that because when I first ordered the, the shoe kit, I bought them a size way too small. And the lady called me or emailed me and she said, is, are you sure this is your correct shoe size? Just please make sure that you measure. And I'm like, no, I wear a size nine. It's fine. And she said, no, you need to measure your shoe, your foot. And so that's what I did. So yeah, I, I think I got it right. Hopefully. Hopefully I got it right. Yeah, I think nobody's ever wearing them. Oh God! Oh my! them. But they were they're a great sample to carry around. Oh, you can you can just display them in your room. There you go. Yeah. Oh, that's very cool. So, okay, Tabitha, I'm going to show a tutorial on the serger. Do you use a serger at all, or do you just use a sewing machine? I do have a serger. I use a serger on my on my garment. Okay, so we've been having this little challenge with, I've been having this with the wolf pack too, because a lot of them were not taking their serger out of the box and they weren't threading it and they weren't using it. So last week I showed them how to thread it and what the buttons are for. And today I'm gonna give a quick tutorial on when you screw up. <laughs> not that I do that, but every once in a while you'll surge and you're like, what happened to that looper? So I have to ask, um, in your surging, now when I got my first surger, it was years ago and it was an older model that was not easy to use. Do you find it fairly easy to use? And uh, thread, do you tie up your threads and pull it through? Yeah, I do. Um, but I only use it for just one. <laughs> like, I just serge my edges. I know there's so many different ways to use a serger, but I don't know any of the other ways except to clean my edges. <laughs> so, yeah, but yeah. Hey, that's okay, though. That's okay because uh, that's the main thing that it's for. It can do so much more, though. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So um, I'm reading all the comments in here. You're going to have to go back uh, there. Um, everybody now wants to see your shoes, Tabitha. <laughs> of course. It's going to be on the brother sewing, um, sewing blog. But let me show you guys the kit. Let me grab it really quick so you guys understand sure. what the kit looks like. Hold on. Perfect. I'll just take that out for one second. Um, Cindy, everybody wants to know how your dad's doing. Um. Not real sure that not great, not terrible. Um, he's holding his own, I guess I would say. Well, you can tell that we have um, created quite the sewing family here because everybody knows so much about, I know so many, much about so many of these people rolling in and they all know a lot about us. And so it's great that we at least have this connection. Online. I do but appreciate I the thoughts and prayers that everybody sent my way. I feel them. Um, I'm I'm hoping he's going to go home at some point, but I, I I don't know. I just I'm not sure what's going on. We can't be in there with him. My stepmom is in there with him, so she's his one person, and she's the only person that gets to go in there. So. Yeah, that it wasn't that's, great news this morning. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, that's heartbreaking. It's not it a is, good time to have somebody sick in the hospital mm -hmm. at all. No. Um, no, but I mean, he has, he's lived a good long life and he's done a lot with his life. So he's 83 years old. No, I don't think that's old. And it, if you'd asked me at Thanksgiving, would we be having this conversation? I would have said, no way. 
So yeah. Well, everybody, you have like a whole pile of people on here thinking of you. And I went to brought it up live, except everybody keeps asking. So well, I appreciate well, that the prayers. People have been sending them my way, and I, I I feel them, and I appreciate it. Yeah, um, everybody loves you, Cindy. That's why. Let's see those shoes. Let's see those shoes, Tabitha. So when you buy the shoe kit, it looks like this. They're espadrilles. Those. You have to oh, yeah. Use, oh, and it comes with like thread and it comes with your needle. <clears throat> and all you have to do is you add your fabric. Oh, it also comes with a pattern to create the shoe. So you can create like a covered shoe or like a sandal type of shoe. Um, you can add a strap to the back. It's just you being creative and thinking of a, I mean, your style. So you guys know that my style is kind of crazy and colorful. So you'll see on the, uh, on the brother's blog, the stitching social blog. Can't wait to see them. Yeah. I cannot wait to see that. I keep muting myself. I cannot wait. So I was going to bring up just one more thing to show everyone in case um, Shanna wants to know, are those cork? Those are not cork. I don't think. No, no, they're rubber soles. Yeah. Rubber soles. Oh, one tip, another tip, make sure that you have heavy things on your fingers so that when you're sewing it together, because I am telling you, it will wear it out. There you go. <laughs> that was, that was the whole part. It comes with wax. Yep. Pins. I don't know what this is for yet. I think maybe when you... When oh, you yeah, that's the, um, to turn your, to turn it inside, to... Poke, it pokes at your corners. Okay, yeah. So that's what it came with. But yeah, the, use those heavy duty things on your fingers. Otherwise, they're going to be raw. Okay, I will. And I'll think of you, Cindy, as I'm doing that. <laughs> Look at me being safe because of Cindy. <laughs> I'm going to bring up your uh, blog from a couple days ago, by the way. This was super cute. So you got to tell everyone this. I saw this and I thought this is such a great project. And it's so cute. So you sewed rickrack to plastic. Is that basically? It's actually inside the plastic. So what I did was um, I took two pieces of two rectangles of vinyl and I folded it in half. And inside the sandwich of vinyl, I laid out um, some rickrack and then I stitched one side together. And then I took the back side and then I sandwiched it together and stitched the outside. I think it's a really like fun, fun, quick project for those people that um, are learning how to sew that just got a sewing machine because of all the mask sewing. Um, so just a really quick, fun project. That's Oops, I muted myself again. That's really cute. So sorry, guys, I keep muting so there's no echo. That is super cute. And I could see uh, having my um, nephews do something like that and my niece because it's something so simple. Um, yeah. And I, you know what I love is, again, the color. Your photos are awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Would this be good for a 14-year-old? I would say yes. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. It's so oh, cute. Yeah, that'd be great. Anything that a kid would like, that's me. <laughs> my name all over it. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome well we cannot thank you enough for taking time this morning to hang out with us so you're more than welcome to hang out we're gonna give away we're gonna do a giveaway in about 15 minutes but i know you are super busy so if you, yeah. if you have to drop we'll say goodbye if you're staying then um you can stay we'd love to have you but you know we're so excited to be able to introduce you to the brother sewing family because we only see you on there we haven't been able to chat with you and this is so nice it was lots of fun. Nice talking to you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and head out because I do have a lot of projects to do. But it was so nice meeting everyone. Thank you so much um, for your kind comments, and I hope to see you guys another day. But talk to you guys later. Oh, good. And I will be sure to put her Instagram on there to go to TabithaSewer.com if you want to follow her, and you'll see a ton of her projects on the brother soon. And Tabitha, we look forward to having you on here again. Thank okay. you. Nice and thanks you. for the washcloth inspiration. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> Bye, guys. All right. Bye. <laughs> I love that washcloth. I just found a whole box of these, Cindy. And I actually embroidered on a couple of these yesterday. I was just practicing with some applique. I uh -huh. don't really outside the box for me, but they turned out cute. Um, no, this hasn't been done yet. I'm not showing my one till I'm finished. I'm surprising Wynn with a couple of towels for the boat that say Win and Angel. So they're looking pretty good so far. <laughs>
<laughs> All right. So, hey, Cindy, do you have a few minutes while I just show a couple things on the serger? Yep. All right, cool. So you read me the comments, and I'll take you out and bring my other camera up here. Uh, hold on one second. You guys can I'm leave your questions. Too. Can't wait to see her projects. I know. Everybody's saying bye, Tabitha. I love that shirt, by the way. Just love it. It was adorable. All right. So I think it's this camera. Nope, maybe this camera. There we go. There you go. All right. So if you guys missed last week's episode where I showed how to do a serger, I'm actually adding the video to my blog. So you can go to AngelaWolf.com. It'll be up later today. And I'm going to start adding the videos there so you can quickly find them. You can go back. It's all the Facebook videos, so it's not different videos. But at least it'll make it easy for you to find and quick. Some of these will be on the Brother blog as well, but not all of them. So at least that'll make it so you can, if you want to go back and find some of these episodes. All right, so let me just get my foot pedal in here. <laughs> Clean up an aisle four. Okay, you guys can see okay, I'm assuming. Just let me know if you can't. So here's the serger. Last week, what I did is I threaded this. I just have it right next to my stellaire. I threaded it with all different colors, remember? And I mentioned that I do that because if for any reason, there's a problem, I'll know where the problem is. So I'm not gonna go through and show all the buttons again because that would be a replay of last week, but I do wanna show you a couple of troubleshooting things that you might like. Close your eyes for a sec, I don't want you to get seasick, I'm moving you back a little bit. There you go. Okay, so let me grab a piece of fabric. Hey Cindy, by the way. Uh, <laughs> yes ma'am. What are you working on today while, while uh, I'm doing all this surging? Are you, working on any fun exciting projects uh fun exciting projects yeah actually i'm working on a table runner with a scanning cut oh so that sounds cool teresa edgar wants to um buy one but she wants one that self-thread the needle well that one actually does have a needle threader on it the one angela is using so, yeah and i'll show you that at the end because i'm going to show you guys how to change your thread real quick so here's just like a couple really quick things um, if let's just say that one of these is out of whack. Now, remember when I was talking, if you're using a woolly nylon or a woolly poly in the looper, now I'm just using regular serger thread, but what if you put this in and you didn't get it tight in the looper? So can you see my finger up there? Okay. These are your tension discs. And if this thread does not, you have to give it a little tug. So it's in there. So I'm just going to surge first to make sure it's working. All right, now let's just say that you didn't get this in all the way. So I'm making, by the way, I'm making mistakes. If anybody pops in later and says, I don't know what I'm doing, I'll cry. <laughs> I'm just teasing. I'm going to show you like mistakes that could happen. All right, so let's just say this one came out of the looper. Or you didn't have it in tight enough. I'll keep my finger there just to hold it out. All right, I'm just going to surge off. Now I'm going to put it back in the looper so I don't screw this up. So take a look. This is the beginning. You see that okay? Is that bright enough? This is the beginning. Everything looks nice. It's just off of the fabric just a little bit. Now once the looper came out, look what happened. It's pushed over to the front. Look at it. It's actually pushed it down in size. And the back. So this looper is wrapping all the way around to the front. Bring that a little closer. Yes, see we can the see it. Yeah. So that then I know something's wrong. Why is my yellow all the way over here? So a lot of times, just first and check check to make sure that your thread is actually in the tension discs. Because if they're not, that's an easy problem. The surging still looks not real bad, but it's not even by any stretch of the imagination. So that's one big problem. Another one is, let's see. I'm going to just change the tension on this one. Let's just say that this one's way too tight. I'm gonna make it like seven. And these, the loopers can really cause a lot of problems if you don't have them on the right setting. All right, so I'm gonna leave it like that and then I'm gonna put it back to normal so you can see the difference. And Angela, we have a question for you. 
Who has the new surgery? Oh, wrong one. So um, Tony wants to know, can the surgery be set not to cut, only to overlock? Can it be set to what? Over, uh, not to cut, only to overclock, uh, overlock. Can she turn, yeah. basically take and disengage take, the knife? Disengage your knife. So this is where the stitching was fine. And now look over here where it was too, too tight. Look what happens. See all these threads that are pulling up in the back? This is what it's supposed to look like. And this is what it looks like. It completely wiped out the yellow. And that's how I would know something's wrong. So again, if you're having any issues, I'm not going to go through every, <laughs> every troubleshoot because there's a whole pile of them, but put a different color in and that will really help. And the last thing I just want to show you, because we didn't have time last week, is I just want to show you how I rethread quickly, how to rethread this. So I'm just going to grab, let's see, today I'm going to be working on, I'll just pick some different colors. You guys have a preference of color? How about purple? for Arnell. Okay. Got a lot of fabric on that wall. So I'm just going to show you a quick and easy way to do this. And I'll also show you how the needle threader works. So Angela, you, yeah, Linda wants to know what's the difference between a two, three, four or three, four serger. Well, it's all the same serger. There's a two thread, there's a three thread, and there's a four thread different. Those are different stitches. So no different than your sewing machine has different stitches. Your serger has different stitches. So you can use two threads. You can use a three thread overlock or a four thread. And actually, your serger does a lot more than that. So those are just different stitches within your serger. Typically, I use, I mean, like typically, the, the average person, can you guys see? I'm just going to show you how I wrap this around. I'm taking this to the needle thread, by the way, and I'm just going to give it a little tie. Um, typically, you're going to use the three or four thread most of the time. The three thread and the four thread are pretty much the exact same stitch, except you're using three threads or four. The four thread is just stronger. So if you're doing leggings or a project that's going to have a lot of stress on that garment or something, you'll want to use a four thread. So I'm just taking this and tying in a knot. Now, I'm not pulling these through because it's you have to be careful that you don't get these stuck in your tension dials, okay? And I'll show you a trick for that. So again, just wrapping it. Tying it off. And for those of you that just popped in, don't forget, in about five minutes, we're giving away the first Brother Soy Machine, which, Cindy, I'm so excited about. Yeah, me too. It's a great time. So I've got another question for you. Holly wants to know, how is serger thread different from other thread? You know, um, it's actually, it's universal thread. Well, there's a, a whole bunch of different kinds of thread, to be clear. Uh, so there are different um, brands. There are different, um, well, there's a lot of different kinds. But typically, we call it serger thread because it comes on the big cone. Now, I also use just regular thread, like this is one that I was using yesterday. That's just regular thread, universal thread that I use for the sewing machine. Um, I've also used embroidery thread in here in the loopers. It really makes it really pretty. So um, basically, in general, it's usually that it has a bigger cone, but also the weight of these can be different. So there's woolly nylon, woolly poly. Uh, so that's a general question. If you had a specific on it, I could probably be more specific on my answer, but... That's a good question, Holly, though. All right, so um, I'm going go ahead. down. Sorry. So on here, for my, these are my needles. I'm just going to pull these through, and I'll show you what happens. Because just snip it then, because you can't pull these through the needle. So I pulled it through the top area, and I'm just going to leave those for now, all right? Make sure you cut all your knots off. All right, and then these are my two loopers. Give this a little tug, and if you see, they're all coming through here, and I just want to make sure these don't get stuck in the tension discs because you don't want to add a bunch of extra dust. Pull it through, voila. So once it's, <laughs> I always joke that once your serger is threaded, that your work's over, but actually, you if you didn't see last week's video, go back and watch it because it, it's not very difficult to thread this at all. So now these are my two needles. And I'm just going to give it a little tug. This one is my left, looks like my left needle, and this is my right needle. 
So those that wanted to know how we thread this, push this to L. That's an L. I'll bring this like in a little closer. Hopefully the internet's better today. Cindy, yesterday it was so lagging. Everything was kind of pixelated. Well, it's, it's never been fine today. Okay. Um, hey, and it threaded. Move it to the right like this. Go underneath that back bar right there. Put it in here. Up. Oh, and I have a ton of YouTube videos on this too, by the way, that you can go back and watch replays. Did y'all watch that? That is just magic. That is magic. I love that. So we just rethreaded very, you know, I would do this way faster if I was not, you know, with you guys. But now let's just, I like to give it a little test to make sure that everything went in the right area. And you never know, it might, you know, you can make mistakes, which I do all the time. And now I am ready for my project for the afternoon. So to answer your question, though, about the knife, just bring you over here a little bit. You can lift this up and bring this down if you don't want the knife engaged. Okay? That's how easy that is. That's great. So um, we had somebody ask, uh, and, and I've got to scroll back up to find it. Um, what's the difference between a serger and a sewing machine? Okay. So why would you need one over the other? Well, you need both, actually. <laughs> so um, a serger finishes the edges, cuts the edges, finishes the edges in the same swipe. Like you just saw that. That was cutting the edges. So what I, and Cindy, you might use it for different things. So let me just give you some ideas of what you would use this for. I use it to finish the edges inside my garment. I sew a lot of knits. So a lot of times I don't even use the sewing machine on that. I use just the serger for that. But on a regular garment, I serge around all the edges and then I sew it together and then press the seams open. So Cindy, what do you use the serger for typically? I use that for constructing things that I don't want to ravel. I mean, I, if yeah. I'm making a bag, it's a super simple way to make a bag. You basically just serge up both sides. Pillowcases, it's great for. Um, you know, I don't do a lot of garment construction. You know that. That's just kind of <laughs> not my thing. <laughs> That's why we complement each other, right? Because yeah. <laughs> I'll do something and then she'll do something totally different and I'll take it to my garments. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, it, the garment sewing is not, not a, a high list on my things, uh, things that I want to do today. But um, I do it for basically when I'm constructing things. So do y'all see Princess hiding back there in the background? I just noticed she came in. <laughs> oh, that's funny, funny. She's got a bed in here and she decided to hang out with me. <laughs> she usually stays in the <laughs> other place, in the other room. So would we use a serger for quilting? Well, I'm not a quilter necessarily, so I um there are edges. There are plenty of people that that use it to piece quilts. I mean, you you can definitely do that. I don't use it to piece quilts, but there are definitely people that do that. Um it just depends on your method of madness, what you find the easiest to do. Yeah, I agree. And the other thing is um, uh, on the serger, which I didn't mention, even um, this is this is one that you would get from a dealer. It has that nice little container, which I don't have it on it now because it didn't fit on there. But uh, it comes with other feet and even some of the lower end, not lower end, but less expensive ones. They come with extra feet. So you can do the blind hem that ladder stitch, which is so cute. That would be great on a quilt, by the way. But there's so many other stitches that you can do besides just serging. And so that's that why it's really cool. hem is great for placemats and things like that. So if you're not into garment sewing, there's just it just opens up opportunities. I will say I got my first serger because my mother wanted me to hem her pants. And so she bought it for me. <laughs> really? My was four foot 11. So that was that was how I got a serger. There you go. I got a serger because I wanted to be a fashion designer so bad. And even though I didn't go to college for it, when I graduated, they gave my parents gave me a sewing machine and a serger, but there was no YouTube and no like manual that was understandable. Mm -hmm. And that thing was a hot mess. <laughs> Once I learned the trick of threading the loopers first, going right to left, that made life a whole lot simpler. I was really frustrated with that when I first got it. Rebecca actually, I think, is the one who taught me how to, to um, thread a serger. Rebecca oh, Brandon. really? Yep. Oh, 
Rebecca, she had a really cool project on last week because we're doing our It's So Easy marathons every Saturday. Don't forget, tomorrow at noon, they go. For, there's three of them in a row. Uh, but Rebecca had a really cool project on there. She has gorgeous stuff that she does. Doretha thinks it's complicated. It's that actually that is one of the easiest machines to use is a serger. Once you get those dials down, you're once you get the tension right on that for your particular garment, you're ready to go. Uh, one trick I will tell you though, change that needle frequently. I never knew that when we first started out. Either. Wait till it breaks. But yeah, changing your needle frequently there makes a big difference as well. Trish is down and I, I'm so glad that you guys are enjoying these daily live shows. So um, if there's a topic that you would like us to cover, be sure to send a note. So I should, before we're going to do a giveaway here in just a second, I should tell the schedule for the next uh, week. So let me bring that up. What do we have <laughs> going on? Cindy, your top is so cute, by the way. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> yes, every time I wear this one, you think it's kind of one of those. It's my. I, like it's one, I think it's because I like the ribbon. I, it's so fun. Yeah, I think we could make we could easily make a pattern kind of like this. I like. Yes, because I always ask you if you made it, and you always say no, but you could have. Yeah. Okay, so I've got a we've got a couple of really cool things coming up. Let me just bring my um, calendar up. I had to keep this organized in the calendar because otherwise it's getting a little complicated <laughs> but there's going to be some tutorials that you guys are really going to like so next week and then i'll give you a heads up for a little bit down the road next week on monday is emily emily is working on a bathing suit cover-up because in some areas of our country that <laughs> you can go, at least go outside and it's nice and warm not in my side but you know let's see some of the beaches are up on that up again oh that well, it's too cold at ours right now. I'm in Michigan, for all of you that don't know that. And you are down, you're in Tennessee. Yep, there's no beaches near me. I keep saying Atlanta, but you're not there anymore. <laughs> now, um, oh, I'm reading your comments, love these. I was gonna ask Okay, you. so then on Tuesday, on Tuesday we have Crafting with May, and she has a really cute project. If you are into paper crafting at all, in fact, she's incorporating sewing with it. But I have been so inspired. I actually, look what I did on my scan and cut. Oh, yeah, you didn't share that with me this morning. I know, look. Sweet. I did this. I know. I'm becoming, uh, like, really crafty. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mom, you might actually get your Mother's Day card the same time as your uh, Valentine's card. But look at, aren't these cool, though? I did this. Where's the pattern from? Where it was it? Built, into the, built into the scan and cut. Sweet. Yeah. So I just put the paper on there It cut it all out. I mean, I was watching it like uh, I was I'm like, does this thing really work? <laughs> and it did. And then I put in the pen and look at what happened. How cute is that? So since Mother's Day is coming up, that was my crafting project. So Tuesday at one. Now, this is all Eastern time is uh, crafting with May. And then, Cindy, you have a show on Tuesday on your own page that we share. What are you working on next week? BES Lettering um, Smart? BES lettering, and I may do a little bit of P design this week. Sounds good. I'm thinking about doing decorative fills. So those that don't have the luminaire or stellaire or a dream machine, how how can they get those decorative fills? I have that a magic would be very cool. <laughs> that, That's at 4.30, right? Eastern time? Yes, 4.30 Eastern. Okay. And so, by the way, I've been putting the links to everyone's live shows in our events page on the Brother Sews. So trying to make it easier for you to find. I know we had like a little mishaps the first couple times, but all right, Wednesday, the 29th there, I'm on at 1.30. I'm featuring a couple more brother dealers that are showing some really cool ways uh, that they're selling and ideas for you while you're at home. And that's at 1.30. Then at three o'clock is Emily Thompson again. She has on her own page that we share over. She's working on another kid's craft. Thursday is an interesting one. Thursday at 4 p.m., Matthew Broderick, uh, AKA Mr. Domestic, he's going to teach me how to quilt. So this should be good. <laughs> That's on Thursday. And then Friday, oh, you and I are on again, Cindy. At are 12 o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> didn't, didn't remember that. Ooh. <laughs> it is May 1st next week, right? Uh, I think yeah. I We're giving away a sewing machine and I'm going to work on the cover stitch on that one. So there we are. Um, the week after, though, I have to just give you a couple little extras. 
We've got Joanne coming on the week after. She's going to be showing off a lot of her scarves. Um, I also have Reen Wilcoxon from Embroidery Garden. She's making a really cool in the hoop design and she's going to walk you through it where it's a cover for your scissors. Very cute. I'll share pictures and then mark your calendar for the week of May 18th to 22nd because all the times will be the same, but we are going to be making uh, aprons, an apron sew along. And so I'll be using Molly's pattern and I'll leave links to all this, but how cute is this? So every day we're going to be sewing parts of the apron. And we also, let's see, one more thing we have coming up is a really cool thing for Star Wars. I can't tell you what it is. It's a, it's a, it's a game. So that's like your little heads up. <laughs> um, so just for their knowledge, I love your shirt, by the way. Which pattern is that one? Oh, this is my uh, rouge tee. And I cut out the, I cut out the uh, shoulders. I like it. Thanks, Cindy. Everyone's saying they're so excited. Uh, what would be a good brother machine for a man with man hands? Strong and tough? Yeah. Be a, would be a, I always call it the rough and tough. Um, you know, I love though the new. Um, God, I can't think of the one, the name of the, the 500, 500, um, 900 series. Oh, eight that are. Those oh, things. This one here. I got it. Hold on. I love those machines. I would love this to one have here. one of those for travel. Every time I go to a show, I think I'm going to go buy one of those. This is my this, the trap the NS80. Yeah, that's a great one. And then there's a um, an NQ series that's uh, I think it's the NQ series there or BQ maybe BQ series, the BQ 500. It's oh, it's okay. just got the same feed dogs that we have on our Luminaire and it feeds through so pretty, so nicely. This this one does too. And this is the one that I you guys have probably seen me use on my boat when I'm on. And I mean, they stitch beautifully. Yeah. And what by the one? way, what's the number on that one? NS80. They, they, they came out with it, I think, two years ago. And it actually, it's small enough that it, when I take it on the boat, I just stick it right underneath and plug it in. It sews like a charm and it's easy to lift, which is nice. And it has and a needle I, thrower on it. So, you know, that is that is basically the line of demarcation. <laughs> it's got to have the needle yeah, thrower. Definitely. Almost every brother machine has a needle thrower. I agree. Um, so it's it's pretty cool. But you can call your brother dealer, even though a lot of them uh, can't have people in their store. Some of them are actually opening to 10 people now, depending what state they're in. But um, a lot of them are doing curbside pickup. A large or portion like of them are doing curbside. Yeah, or you can find the pink cart with Holly Cobb. She said she's driving a pink cart around with her fabric. I got to <laughs> see that. <laughs> I love that. So uh, someone just asked again, the date of the apron sew along is April 18th through 22nd. So we'll be posting a list of, I'm going to show you what pattern I'm using and give you links to things. Molly even offered a discount to her pattern, which was cool. But even if you have your own pattern, that's fine too. And we're all going to come up with different ideas. We're going to be adding... Um, scan and cut features, embroidery, sewing it together. And uh, there was one more. Oh, Reen's going to offer something cool to hang off the front, like a little um, in the hoop design. So there's, you're in there too, Cindy. <laughs> so I'm <laughs> making a note. <laughs> you're, on, you're on the uh, embroidery side. Okay. Yeah. So, all right, should we give away? Did I mean May? Did I, did I say April, Jenny? <laughs> What month did I say? I don't even know what day it is anymore. <laughs> I have to do yeah, check. Uh, Friday. Yeah. Everyone. <laughs> it's May 18th through 22nd. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Today's Friday, the day to try on your skinny jeans. Yeah, we've, it, we're not going to wait the next year because <laughs> we've already passed the 18th of April. Yeah. So it's May 18th to 22nd. All right. So let's do this drawing. So here's how you can enter. There's a link in the description and this contest, it's a giveaway, will stay open for 10 weeks. So brother has donated to me to give away 10 machines, which is awesome. So the brand ambassadors are in charge of this. And I thought it would make it fun to, there's different ways you can enter. There's an actual official form, which there's a link in the comments and there's also a link at AngelaWolf.com. There's a link on my Facebook. If you didn't find it this week, you'll find it next week. But if you left a comment, during any of the live shows this week, you're in it as well. Those are extra entries. So how this works 
is from the official entry form I will be drawing today. So not to make this complicated, but over the weekend, I have a software program that will go in. And if you had made a comment on any of the live shows this week that we did, the At Your Side virtual shows, which you'll see that in the title, uh, we will randomly pick one winner each day. So that's five a week. <laughs> and then those five each week will go into their own pool. And the last machine will be chosen from that little batch. So you have two ways to enter, two ways to win. If you share the contest with friends and things like that, the software automatically gives you extra entries. So any questions on that? Or am I explaining it pretty good? <laughs> pretty good. All right. Oh, when is Star Wars? Uh, Star Wars. Eleanor, Star Wars is on May 4th. May 4th is Star Wars. I think. Yeah. It's a game for kids, by the way. Hint, hint. <laughs> yeah. And May 5th is Crafting with May for Cinco de Mayo, which I think you, if you have a show on your page later that day, Cindy, you should do those really cool wine things. Oh, yeah, we could do the, the wine, char wine charms. Yes, those are great. <laughs> May the 4th be with you, everyone. <laughs> I love that. Okay. So if you have any questions, you guys can always private message me and I'll help in any way. So let's pull up the contest and let's draw a random winner. So who's the lucky girl going to be or boy or guy or I it can't be anybody in my family. I did tell them that or mom. <laughs> oh, she, she wants margarita clips. And thank you guys for loving the live shows. We're Please enjoying doing them. them. I mean, it's we're, my favorite thing to do. <laughs> we actually get to speak to people for a little while instead of staying in our house just by ourselves. So, you know, this is kind of a nice change of pace. All right. Um, just one sec. I'm bringing it up. Draw one lucky winner. One lucky winner, and you get an extra entry for if you've shared this with any of your friends. So this is the first winner. Is congratulations to Sharon Brower. Sharon Brower, congratulations. I forgot, I forgot to put on the entry to say where you're from, so I can't say where you're from, but uh, congratulations. I will send you, I have your email. And she said she's been watching the live shows and she's into pattern fitting, which is awesome. So Sharon, congratulations. And uh, so if at the end of all of our 10 weeks of giveaways, if anybody has not claimed their email, their prize, by the time we get to that last 10 weeks, uh, this will go back and we'll draw more winners at the end. So you have basically uh, a week <laughs> to at least email back and say, hey, I'm in. If you don't want the machine, I'm sure there's a lot of people, that, but you wouldn't have entered. So congratulations, Sharon. If you're on here, congrats. Say hi. And everybody's saying congratulations. Woohoo. All right. Well, Cindy, it's been a lot of fun today. It was great meeting Tabitha. I love her stuff. Very cute. It was very, she, that, that's, the um, washcloths were just such a great idea. Why oh we not of that? <laughs> <laughs> I think it was brilliant. So everyone, I hope you have a great week. Tomorrow is, again, It's So Easy Sewing Marathon. It starts at noon. There's three episodes, and in between each episode, there's a 15-minute break. Uh, I always call it the potty grab some coffee break, right? Oh, break. <laughs> and right now we're on season 18, so we're sewing trench coat. I'm sewing a trench coat on there, and everybody else has really cool things to add as well. So, uh, Cindy, it was so great to see you today. You too. Good hanging out with you again. Bye. It's hard to believe it's Friday. It's like every day just kind of blends in together. <laughs> no, this week has gone fast. I agree. So I think I have a I'm meeting with the Fashion Sewing Club this afternoon. We've got a live Q&A and then I'm taping some videos. So I've been trying to clean up, clean up an aisle four. <laughs> I don't even want to show you my desk here. Notice that oh. this area looks kind of clean. That looks not good. That's what that's why my camera's angled this way. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. Although I did not realize Princess was in the picture until she <laughs> was looking over there going, oh, okay. 
That's awesome. So I'm just, I just saw a couple more comments go up before I leave. Um, yes, it's noon tomorrow. All the times I gave you are Eastern Standard Time for our shows. If you sign up for the Brother Sows newsletter, which you go to brothersows.com, and at the bottom of the page, you can enter your email, and you'll get a, a, an email at the beginning of each week with everything that's listed. I'm also listing these in my um, on my Facebook and so that can help too. If you wanna watch any of these videos, as soon as we're not live, you can watch them over if you came in halfway through. The easiest way to do that is to share them to your page or to your own page and your own timeline, and then you'll know where to find them. But that's the easiest. You could always come back to Brother Sows and watch as well. Yeah. So then you got any uh, creative ideas to tell people, people what to work on this weekend? I am, <laughs> I was, I'm not gonna say, <laughs> I'm learning how to bake. <laughs> oh gosh, you know, I've finally been, and you know, have you, have, I don't think I've told you about my quest for sourdough bread. So the first week, like back in early March that we were in starting to have issues at the grocery store, there was no bread, there was no meat, there was no, there was nothing. So I thought, well, I'll make sourdough. I've been on the quest for perfect sourdough bread since that date. I finally got a good loaf this week. I was so excited. <laughs> Are you going to share the recipe? Did you do it in sure, one of the bread I'll share my recipe and my starter. So um, awesome. I, I finally got it down to a science, and I was like, "Okay, this works." I've tried. I, I ended up making my own recipe, kind of a combination of cool. different ones. So, are you going to write this on a blog or something that we can go to and read about it? Ah, uh, sure. Maybe. <laughs> Everyone say try beer bread. I'm going to do that because I made some banana bread this week. You know, you, everyone knew I was craving it. I have no idea why, uh, but I was. And uh, I made it. And I have to tell you, I've eaten it every day. And I just, oh my gosh, it's to, it's just fantastic. It's my mother's recipe that I used. Ah, uh -huh. so, so yeah. you, got, you were successful. Did you ever find the walnuts you were looking for? No, I didn't because I was not going to go back to the grocery store because you had to follow the arrows and there was no way I could tolerate that mask for one more second. So I got home and I was so upset that we didn't have any nuts because I thought maybe we had some, but my husband likes ice cream sundaes. And I think that's where the walnuts went, but I did find a whole bag of pecans. And I'll tell you what, that was pretty good. Walnuts are better, I think, in the banana bread, but the pecans were perfect. It works. Yeah, it works. So, all right. Well, I guess we'll be having a brother. We need a brother cooking blog now. <laughs> <laughs> what did you make today? There you go. <laughs> well, Cindy, I hope you have a great weekend. Everybody, it's great to see you again. Well, I'll pop in and see you tomorrow during the um, It's So Easy Marathon, but it's not live like this is. So I guess I'll see you again on Monday. Everybody have a great weekend. Y'all have fun. Do something fun. Bye, Cindy. Bye. Bye, everyone. <laughs>